So MEM is a fairly new service. It is a note taker that allows you to take notes in a timeline view, as well as assign tasks, create workflows with your calendar, and also with your templates. It's an exciting new application which allows G Suite users to create an account. It's fairly new, so obviously you may want to watch our full review on this, which will be listed below. We're also planning a course to be released very soon that'll help you navigate MEM if you are new to the service. We'll include that in the description and it should be available in the next couple of weeks. So today's video is sponsored by Pipedrive. It's great to have them on as a sponsor again. They're a sales CRM very powerful with lots of integrations and abilities. Here's a little bit more about them before we begin. No matter how much experience you have selling your product, Pipedrive will make it easier, bringing you better, more engaged leads 24 seven, so you can focus on the right people at the right time and convert them to deals in your sales pipelines, which can be fully customized to visualize your process. Every call and email are automatically tracked and say goodbye to repetitive tasks like sending routine follow-up emails. Workflow automation can do it all which frees up time to gather insights and measure performance against set goals, no matter where you are. Pipedrive, designed to keep you selling. So today I thought it'd be cool to outline some of the top tips and features for new users. This might be interesting if you're looking at MEM as a potential note taker for the future and you want to be able to get to understand the service before necessarily committing to it. So I've put together eight tips and hopefully they help you to really go and get started with MEM. So the first one on my list is to connect your calendar. This is a more recent feature inside of MEM allowing you to connect your calendar in the flows section. Connecting your Google Calendar, you can connect multiple of them, allows you to have the MEMS appear in the timeline at the top and allows you to create a MEM for each event. Now this is really a common technique in some productivity applications. Craft has recently added it and also it is something that is coming to future note-taking applications as people do like to have the ability to connect a note to a calendar event. And you can do that now inside of MEM. The second tip I'd have for MEM users is the ability to use the home mem, which is essentially a pinned area on the timeline page, allowing you to quickly get access to regular notes that you may use, mems, or any hashtags that you commonly go to. You can create those using the sidebar, popping that open, and you can add any relevant stuff there. This is great for quick access, and if you didn't wanna necessarily have it as a star page or anything like that. The third tip I have is to, when you regularly search, be able to star your searches. This stars the page and allows you to view that page in a timeline or list view, and you can quickly access them on the left-hand sidebar and also at the top through the search very easily. Number four is a big recommendation for those who want to use the task notes, it's to actually learn some of the keyboard shortcuts. This will save you time and effort, and once you know how to snooze them, to hide them, to process through them, it might save you hours of processing tasks. It also is allows you to take your hand off the keyboard for a few moments, uh, and if you do learn it, um, there are a host of other keyboard shortcuts which can be accessed on the bottom right hand corner. Number five is email templates and using them with the spotlight function. So inside a mem, you can go and open up what's called Spotlight and from there essentially you're able to pop this menu open where you're able to create a mem from there or paste any mem that you've created that has for example a template. Now here's a really basic email one and if you opened your email application in the background you could press command shift space and uh, press enter and simply you're adding a template that is available in mem that you can paste inside of whatever experience you want. Now you can do this with any note you have which creates a link to the note which is super helpful but particularly useful with templates because if you want to to create a very fast email template with everything inside of it into another application that allows you to do that through mem spotlight number six is to customize your daily mem now this is something that you can access in the flow section it's basically like your daily journal to some extent you could even have it pop up in the morning evening whatever time of day you want but you could add some journal prompts or even some affirmations i don't know what 
could be beneficial or some YouTube videos, for example, that might be useful to watch every morning. But this mem is automatically created in the morning for you or whatever time you suggest on whatever days you suggest too. So really helpful to activate that and customize it even with emojis, multimedia and things like that. Number seven is a really small recommendation. Inside of the top right hand corner, you can actually change the customization of the colors of your mem account. You can keep this like nice hue pink or you can go to a frost which is a white all white mode and uh, it looks very nice depending on how you want to customize it and finally our eighth tip and recommendation is to link mems to your calendar for example if you're gone ahead and created a note and it's relevant to a calendar event in the future or maybe ones that's coming up right now and you forgot to link it from the actual create event at the top then you can go ahead inside of the note that you created and press link to and the event should pop up for this one. So very helpful when you're looking to connect that to whatever events you have, which makes it easier for search and function in the future. Anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this list of mem recommendations. If you're a newbie, it is a fairly new service, so still plenty of time and attention. They've recently released an API, which I'm sure will gain a lot of attention and traction in the future. But I just wanted to thank you. If you're new here, it'd be honestly great to have you as a subscriber. So please make sure you're subscribed to this Keep Productive YouTube channel.